Hey, I'm David Milan. Welcome to another of my design tutorials on Editor X. I have played around with lots of design tools and you can really tell the difference when creating an Editor X. It has such a neat interface that lets you be very precise. I have found a really cool way to build a loading screen for my homepage using animation. Let's do this. First, I will build the homepage and then the loading screen. I'm gonna start by selecting the main section and setting the minimum height to 300 bh. The panel that I use on the right is the inspector panel. Here you can set the property like size, docking, and so on. Now I wanna add a container from the quick ads in the add panel. The quick ads is a cool shortcut for some of your really essential elements. Now I'm gonna update the color here and remove the borders. I think I need the container to be bigger, so I'll stretch it out. I will add the image I'm working with from the Add panel. Just need to get into position by aligning it to the left and the top. Okay, cool. And I'll make it much bigger by setting width to 100%. Using the handles on the sides of the canvas, I can see that the image is scaled proportionally. Nice. Moving on to the header, I want it always to be visible. I'll select it and set the scroll effect to fix it. Plus, I will uncheck this box so that the header will sit above the first section without any overlap. I will add in a yellow version of my signature to the header. It's a little overpowering as it is, so I will resize it and dock it to the top in pixels and to the left in percentage. And that's it, everything's in the right place. Let's add a menu to the header and I can choose what pages are shown. I actually made a few before, so I will add them now. Nice. I will change it to the same yellow so it fits my color theme. And I'm gonna make the font a bit smaller. When it's clicked, I also want it to be yellow, so I will update that too. The spacing needs a little sorting, so I will drag it a bit and duck to the top and right. Now I'm going to start building the loading experience for the site. I will hide everything on display, including the header and main image. I prefer to have a clean canvas to work on. Through the layers panel, I will hide the container too. Nice. Through the alt panel, I will add a black version of my logo. And dock it to the top. I will set the top margin in pixels, plus make sure all other margins are set to zero. I'm adding this black horizontal line from the Add panel to give some more detail. And I will resize it so it fits perfectly underneath my name. Don't you hate when you see imprecise alignments? Now, for the loading effect, I will add the fade in animation for my name. And set the duration to 0.5 and delay to 0.4. Now, let's use the folding effect for the line. Here I will set the duration to 1.9 and the delay to 0.6. Let's do a quick preview to see how the animation looks so far. Nice, looks really cool guys. I'm really excited to see the finished result and to do that, we need to unhide everything we hit earlier. So I will go to the layers panel again and reveal the elements one by one. Let's drag the container up so it's a top layer and then back on the canvas, I will choose a reveal animation for the container. This time I will set the duration to 0.9 and delay to three. Let's give this image a reveal animation as well. And set the duration to 1.2 and delay to 3.4. Now, I'm gonna bring back the header, so I will go through the Layers panel and choose to display it. I'm also gonna add a fade in for the yellow logo, setting the duration to 0.3 and delay to 3.7. And last but not least, I will choose the fade in for the header menu and set the same duration and delay. And now my favorite part of this, checking my final design in the preview. Nice, I really like it, eh? I have really enjoyed guiding you through this creative process. Be sure to check out my other videos on Editor X, where I cover sticky position and grid. Ciao for now.